Hi, my name is Jason Lee, and I'm the game designer on Company of Heroes 2. Today, I'll be playing against Quinn Duffy, the game director. Hi, my name is Quinn Duffy. I'm the game director on Company of Heroes 2. Today, I'm going to be uh, losing badly at the game to Jason Lee, who's one of our gameplay designers, and also the best Company of Heroes 2 player in the world. Uh, we will be playing a multiplayer match on Moscow outskirts. Um, I'll be playing uh, as Germans, and uh, they specialize in um, adapting to situations a, a lot easier. I'm playing the uh, Soviet Army. This is on our Moscow outskirts map. Uh, it's a cold weather map. We're going to experience the snow and the winter and uh, blizzard conditions uh, as I try to force the Germans away from uh, Moscow. I think the Russians have a lot of mobility, they've got a lot of versatility in their core combat unit, the conscript. Um, they're relatively robust, they've got big weapon squads and, uh, and that kind of thing. The unfortunate thing is none of that stuff helps me against Jason. Uh, my tactic for uh, playing against Quinn uh, is I'm going to be focusing um, on a little bit on the early game. So making a few grenadiers, um, uh, locking down a strategic area with a heavy machine gun team and trying to tech up really quickly uh, to the final tier and um, hopefully get out a Brumbar or a Panther and try to end the game quickly that way. Well, my tactics were to hold on as long as possible uh, and try not to embarrass myself. But I was going infantry heavy, trying to get a number of anti-tank guns out uh, and create what the Germans called a, a pack front, which is a wall of anti-tank guns I was going to push forward and smash everything in my way. Move out and vouch for signs. So at the start here, um, I built the first tier building uh, because I want to focus on building up my grenadiers and trying to capture as much of the territory as um, I can early game. Because um, my tactic late game is uh, to get out Brumbars and Panthers. So to get that fast tech, I need to accumulate a lot of fuel qu quickly. Okay, so. Um this is where I start to lose uh, the game. And I know I'm going to because uh, Jason's a really, really effective player. So what I want to do is, is start to move out and uh, start capturing my first territory with engineer squad. With the Soviets, I want to expand as quickly as I can, grab as much territory as I can, and start building up some resources. So I'm building my first Grenadier squad here and um, setting a rally point. My HMD squad uh, is, was trying to run into garrisoning that um, ambient building, uh, but it encountered uh, Quinn's um, conscript squad, so I had to set it up quickly before he can kind of flank me. Rifleman ready. A mortar out, and I'm I'm uh, shelling um, this point just to see if Jason has any units nearby. And then I'm going to move out, and you see the line of sight uh, being blocked as my uh, units move across. Jason's putting uh, an attack uh, against my troops at the, uh, at the upper resource point there. We're going to have a little tactical engagement, but I'm going to flank him with my conscripts. March. Um, so I'm trying to run into the building. Uh, my Grenadier squad found his mortar squad and um, I'm just trying to take him out. Um, his conscript squad is uh, engaging my Grenadiers, so um, I just threw a rifle grenade and I'm running towards the building to seek some cover. Um, I had a Grenadier squad trying to flank his conscript squads. Um, and I noticed that his conscript squad was about to throw a Molotov, so I evacuate the building quickly. We'll take it from the secure the territory and pick up your feet! And I just mop up what's left. They can't keep us from it! So I've researched the, the Molotovs. I'm going to throw a Molotov uh, grenade into the building there. But of course I telegraphed that. Jason saw it coming. Then again, he flanks me with his troops, so nice time or discretion is the better part of valor, I'm going to pull back. These are my guys burning to death uh, just prior to me getting my own flamethrower. Uh, that was appealing to see. To the rear! Back. Was ist los? 
Pioneers here. Um, the blizzard came. Um, so at this point, um, there's nothing much that Quinn can do, uh, but it's just trying to survive the blizzard, uh, trying to stay near uh, heat sources. Um, he's still shooting mortars at me, but um, yeah, it's not really doing much at this point. Um, I'm building some fuel poles uh, so I can kind of finish tearing up really quickly and get that Brumbar out. This is a nice spot on Uh, he threw a Molotov cocktail and um, I dodged it. Troops are dying in the cold. Yeah, the, I think I lose this squad to the cold here um, as they're trying to retreat. We've been on a The crappiest job in the world for Jason to do when we get back uh, to Vancouver, and I'm going to make him do it all week. Yeah, he's really starting to lock down the middle VP because um, <laughs> I'm pretty much winning on VP points. My MGNS there help defend with my uh, flamethrowers. So my Brumbar is out, and um, at this point, there's not much he can do. Um, Need your orders. We can see uh, my conscripts up there by the truck. Uh, I'm trying to keep them in cover to keep them alive, but I am really, really close to uh, to the cold. Luckily, my troops have revealed uh, Jason's troops. I'm able to, to bombard them with a mortar. Then I'm continuing to bombard this area with uh, with my mortar for as long as I can, just to, to prevent these pioneers from attacking me. In my fire. See, at this point, I started to hear enemy vehicles. Uh, in the background, I knew I was in a little bit of trouble because whatever I heard sounded uh, bigger and scarier than whatever I had. And it turned out to be a Brumbar, uh, which is an anti-infantry tank uh, with heavily front armor. I fired smoke here to, to block its access, uh, but I inadvertently blocked access for my own visual access for my own anti-tank gun. Uh, and then I got uh, kicked in the ass by the Brumbar. Uh, just like that. Then again, my uh, my mortar teams and my machine gun teams in the area aren't going to be able to do anything to that uh, tank. You need some brave infantry have made the ultimate sacrifice. What I started to do at this point was put together more conscript forces with anti-tank grenades to at least try to slow down uh, Jason's uh, vehicles. Broom bars are pretty good against anti-tank guns because uh, they have a pretty good front of armor and uh, they, their AOE damage is uh, really good at taking down like clumps of uh, guys, the weapon teams that are behind anti-tank guns. Pioneers! So here I am, you know, making more fuel posts because, you know, I just want to finish it with a Panther broom bar. Another blizzard's coming in, so again, my infantry heavy focus is going to be uh, a little more affected at this point by the cold. And I'm losing the victory points considerably at this point. I just haven't held territory for uh, long enough to make a concerted push. We will get there. There's something about that inexorable countdown. Once it starts, it's just ticking away. It's like my life's blood spilling onto the floor and no tourniquet in the world is going to stop it. I just feel this game slipping away from me. To the is it imminent? You want something? Depend on us to capture it. Awaiting orders. My Brumbar got hit by an anti-tank grenade uh, and uh, uh, damaged my engine. So I had, I couldn't like, I couldn't keep going. I, I wanted to. Um, Raid his base, but I couldn't go any further. Um, I had to repair. Standing by. Let's see them try 
So at this point, I was pretty much going to run my Panther and Brumbar into his base. But either way, like he was so low on VPs and uh, I had all three VPs, so there really wasn't anything he can do at this point to come back. The Panther's like the nail in the coffin. I just like, Panther, Jason, really? I never offer any challenge to him. When you see at this point, I'm desperately trying to get anti-tank grenades on to the, the uh, Sturmpanzer here with my, uh, my conscripts. Uh, and they have that level of versatility, and I think against a tank that was less anti-infantry, I could probably have whittled him down. Uh, but the arrival of the Panther kind of seals the, the fate. It's really a challenge to fight against two heavy tanks. The anti-tank grenades are pretty good uh, uh, at disabling engines and such, but that's not going to be enough to take out my Bruin Bar and Panther. Um, he'll need to follow that up with uh, an SU-85 or uh, an anti-tank gun. And that's one of the changes in Company Heroes is to make these tanks more, uh, you know, more intimidating on the battlefield. I'm sending those guys down to capture, uh, at least try and hold a piece of territory in a victory point just before the game uh, ends here in my inevitable doom. Oh, and there you go, there's the win. the fatherland with a victory. Give us a, give us oh, a, that a was reaction. A, uh, um, a massive uh, defeat on on my part, but we can edit it to look like <laughs> I didn't lose. Um, that was just um, just just a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Easy victory. Yeah. <laughs>